Guilty Gear, The City, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Crash School. What is up guys? We are back in the game room with some really awesome pickups here. Alright, so first up, went to the Goodwill this morning and picked up a copy. I already have this, but it's an awesome RPG, The Witcher Enhanced Edition for Windows. Uh the case is messed up, won't close, but everything's in there. Uh, Witcher, obviously, 2 and 3 came out on the Xbox 360. It's, uh, obviously, Western-style RPG, going around exploring as, uh, uh, Geralt, and, uh, solving mysteries, fighting monsters, leveling up, pretty cool stuff, using spells. He has, uh, a couple different swords. One is a silver sword, special, its specialty is for fighting monsters, and you have your regular, uh, one-handed sword. For like faster attacks, and you have a two-handed sword. Uh, it's pretty, pretty badass RPG, if I say so myself. Um, oh, and <laughs> this was uh, just right next to it, actually. I don't know if I can open it all the way up. Just, it's like just a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas map poster. Uh, that was just sitting next to it, so I'm like, well, they're not gonna sell that separately, so. <laughs> I tossed it in there. But anyway, um, everything's in there. All the, the paperwork, all the discs. I'm not going to go through all of them. It's like four or five discs. Yeah. Picked uh, that up for $3.50 after rounding it up. And then, uh, alright, so there was a really, really awesome Dreamcast game. Just hanging out there for like the last couple weeks and I first I was like eh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not but it started nipping at me and nipping at me and nipping at me and so then I was like you know what I'm gonna get some games together and just trade them in and see what I get I was hoping to get around 70 80 bucks because I know they're gonna take everything I'm like man it'd be great if I get 70 80 bucks 70 or 80 bucks this is how much I got one forty four ninety. One forty four ninety. That completely blew my mind. So this game essentially was free, and then I bought the rest of these games. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? First up. This was kind of one of the last ones I picked up. I just threw it in there because I'm like, hey, it's it's a Sega C D game. I don't have a Sega C D yet, but when I do, I'll play it. Uh, it's in really good shape, and I don't have it, so. And it is Lodestar, The Legend of Tully Bodine. So, it looks like this is a space shooter game, but it actually is not. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's all complete and everything in nice, nice shape. Essentially, you're piloting this ship on the back, controlling Tully Bodine. <laughs> Which, if you watch Racing, Bodine is a racing name. And uh, you're swerving to avoid other futuristic cars and trucks and everything on these courses, on these uh, interstate highways, I guess, of space. And, uh, yeah, it has, of course, formation video and all that stuff. Cheesy stuff like what they did on the Sega CD. So, uh, yeah, look forward to trying that out once I finally get a Sega CD. But we picked up... Lodestar for five dollars and eighty cents after tax, or excuse me, after the teacher discount. Can't talk today. All right, next up, we picked up a game that this has also been sitting in there for a while, and I wanted to pick it up, but I just, I don't know, I just, whenever I've gone in there, I didn't feel like spending the money. But when I was getting all this together, I was like, yes, let's go ahead and get that. That game is Star Trek Shattered Universe for the PS2. Really interesting Star Trek game because uh, 
you it's a shattered dimension you know so it's a shattered universe so you, you go to like another dimension essentially and you're fighting your the ships that should be your allies like the federation ships are your enemies and you have to battle them and uh you might be friends with the klingons or something which is or well actually you are friends with klingons depending on which you know that's geek talk uh anyway but it's a space shooter and anyway, uh, you go around and battle these other spaceships in an alternate kind of uh, dimension. So that's pretty cool. We picked up Star Trek Shattered Universe for $5.88. Next up, this game. I was glad it was sitting around for a while. Last week I picked up another PSP game and I put this one on hold. And, and I just wanted to get this one. And I, it's amazing I don't have this one already. Don't care if it's greatest hits, but it is Final Fantasy Crisis Core. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. All right, so you recognize this Buster Sword, you know, wielded by the infamous Cloud. But this guy, this is, takes place seven years before. There is Cloud here, but uh, you got Zack, who the story follows, who's a soldier second class. All these guys are soldiers in the Shinra organization. And uh, anyway. Uh, it tells the story of what happened seven years prior to the events of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, and then there's like the mentor there, uh, Angel, I guess. But uh, this is complete. has the manual and uh, this little other extra. And of course the disc in there. Uh, RPG, uh, that on the PSP. Look forward to playing it. Next up. Rest of these are Dreamcast games. Oh, excuse me. Final Fantasy VII was six dollars and thirty-six cents. So the rest of these are Dreamcast games, and uh, yeah, couldn't resist picking them up. First up, Sonic Shuffle for the Dreamcast. Now this is a kind of a different kind of Sonic game. It's very similar to Mario Party. Uh, it has uh, different power-ups for different characters. Sonic can move faster, move more spaces, but then you hit a tail space, you can fly to another tail space. Because tails flies and Knuckles can climb, so if there's another spot where Knuckles is. But anyway, uh, and it has mini games and little boss fights and everything, so, or mini bosses. Or, um, it has mini games and competitive, cooperative gameplay, you know. Pretty much Mario Party with Sonic characters. That's complete. Did not pay fourteen ninety five though. We paid eleven dollars and ninety six cents for this guy. All right. Next up, when I first saw this one, I already have this on the actually on the uh, PlayStation One. I just realized not too long ago, but hey, I'm happy to pick it up on the Sega Dreamcast. Happy to pick up any game on the Sega Dreamcast for cheap enough. And that's Street Fighter Alpha 3. Zangief and Rue on the front there. It is complete. Obviously, Street Fighter game. Huge cast of over 30 characters. Look at all those faces. How many can you recognize? But anyway, so cool to have it on the Dreamcast. Paid $26.36 for this guy. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the power play. Alright guys, so this is the game that sat around for a couple weeks. I just had to get it. And, uh, yeah. The game? It's Cannon Spike.
Sega Dreamcast. And yet, that is not a mistake on the price there. One fifty four ninety five. Crazy. It's a pretty sought after Dreamcast game. Eh, it's got some little little scuffs and everything on it, but not too bad. It's cool artwork here. But yeah, so it's got these characters. Obviously, so so Arthur from Ghosts and Goblin has Cammy. Uh, they had this character, and I can't remember what her name is, but she's kind of like a robot ninja. Um, who else they have this? Uh, they're not showing all of them. They have Mega Man in there and a couple other guys. Um, but Cammy's special attack is called uh, uh, Cannon Spike. But so it's pre pretty much is uh, very similar to Smash TV, kind of that top-down perspective, and you're shooting off uh, projectile weapons. You have two different ways of shooting off projectile weapons. And then you have a uh, melee attack and a special attack, and you're just going around just defeating monsters. One uh, complaint that from people, though, from this one is the, it's kind of a short. The levels are kind of short. But uh, you have boss fights and everything, too. But um, I look forward to playing this one. It, I mean, uh, looks really cool. And, uh, yeah, that's an awesome game to add to the, any Dreamcast collection. So, for Cannon Spike, we paid only $123.96. But, after this thing was over $200, the whole transaction was over $200, the teacher discount knocked 20% off and went down to $180.32. I used my $144.90 in store credit and walked out with all six of these games. Walked out with all six of these games for the low, low price of $44.98. That's called hustling. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. We will see you later.